Mathematics Major 2015 Question 6 A tourist attraction in a city center is a big vertical wheel on which passengers can ride. The wheel turns in such a way that the height h meter of a passenger above the ground is given by the formula as this, this is the expression. In this uh, formula, k is a constant, t is a time given in minutes that has elapsed since the passenger started the ride at ground level and kt is measured in radian. So this question is about a vertical wheel where a passengers can ride. So the height of the passengers from above the ground is given with this expression k is a constant t is given in minutes so this is the angle that is given in radian the first question find the greatest height of the passenger above the ground so they're asking what would be the maximum value of h as you can see this expression there is cos so if we take cos of any angle Cost value can range between minus one to one. So in this expression, if I put one, the height will become zero. But if I put minus one, then minus of minus, so it gets added. So in this place, to find the maximum height, I have to substitute minus one. As you can see, I've done the working the value of h will be maximum when cos kt is considered as minus 1. So when you substitute minus 1, 1 minus of minus 1 becomes 2. 2 into 60, we get 120 meters. So that's the maximum value h can reach. One complete revolution of the wheel takes 30 minutes. That means the time period uh, is 30 minutes. That means if a passenger is starting from here to get back to the same place, that is one complete revolution, it takes the person to come back here about 30 minutes. Second part of the question says find the value of k or we have to show the value of k is equal to pi by 15. So basically we have to find the value of k and we should get this value in order to show that, uh, to in order to complete this part. Okay, so let's start. The height of the passenger above the ground when wheel starts. So when, when the wheel starts, the, it will start at time t is equal to zero. So first we need to find the height at which the person is going to start when time t is equal to zero. So we substitute in place of t zero. So it becomes cos zero. We know cos zero is one. One minus one becomes zero. So when time t is zero, the height of the passenger from the ground is also zero. So when the person finish one revolution, that means at 30 minutes, again, the person will be zero meter above the ground. So we need to find another value of uh, t. Uh, we need to find the value of k. We need, value, we need to find the value of k when uh, the height will be 0 again. So first thing is when time t is equal to 0, the height is 0. Second thing is after completing one revolution, the height will be 0. So they have given it's already 30 minutes. So when we will get our height to be 0, then this value cos kt, cos kt is equal to 1. Because when cos kt is 1, 1 minus 1 will give us 0. So when t is equal to 30 minutes, our height will be 0. That will occur only when cos kt is equal to 1. So when we will get cos theta is equal to 0, then theta is 2n pi. 
that's given in radian. That means when you when you have cos theta, cos zero, when n is zero, that means in place of n, if you substitute zero, you get one. Similarly, cos in place of n, you substitute one, it will be cos two pi. Cos two pi means two pi rad means 360 degree, you get one. When it is two, that means two into two, four pi. When you uh, when you have cos four pi, when it is 720 degree, you will get one. So this is the general equation. For cos theta to be one, you have to have theta to be two n pi. So it can be either zero, two pi, four pi, uh, then you have 3 means 6 pi, 4 means 8 pi. So multiple of even numbers, n integers with even numbers will give cos theta is equal to 1. So here cos kt is equal to 1. So kt, that is cos inverse 1, is equal to 2 pi. So I'm taking my first value after 0, the next 30 minutes, the, the next time that is going to be when kt is 2 pi. Since they have mentioned that uh, it's given in radians, I've taken it 2 pi. Instead of taking 360 degrees, since they have mentioned radian, I've taken it as 2 pi. Then time is already given 30 minutes. So k30 is equal to 2 pi. Taking 30 to the other side, it becomes 2 pi over 30, which is pi by 15. Therefore, we have proved that k value is pi by 15. Now that we know the k value, we can continue the next part. The next part says, find the time for which the passenger is above a height 90 meter. That means when this value is 90, we need to find the time. So now we know the value of k, so it's easier for us to find the value. So 90 is equal to 60, 1 minus cos. In place of k, I have pi by 15 into t. Now 90 divided by 60 will give me 3 by 2, 1 minus 3 by 2. So I made cos pi by 15 t as my subject. So I get minus half. Now when we will get cos as negative? Now if you have a quadrant, in the first quadrant, sine, cos, tan, all are given, all gives the positive value. In second quadrant, only sine is positive. In third quadrant, tan is positive. And in fourth quadrant, cos is positive. Since my cos value is negative, it will be negative in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant. So that's what I have mentioned, second and third. So if you have to go to the second quadrant, first you need to find the first quadrant value, let me call it as alpha. If I have to go to the second quadrant, I will take 180, that is pi minus alpha. If I have to go to the second, third quadrant, it will be 180 plus alpha, that is in degree. If it is tan, it will have to go pi plus alpha. So first we find the first quadrant. To find the first quadrant, that is to find the alpha value, we do not have to consider the sine minus. So cos inverse half gives me pi by three. Pi by three is my alpha. My alpha is pi by three. That is the first quadrant value. From here, I have to go to my second and third quadrant. How do I go to my first second quadrant? Pi minus alpha, so pi minus one by three. For the third quadrant, I'll go as pi plus one by three. Now simplify the answer, pi minus pi by three is two pi by three. Pi plus pi by three is four pi by three. Now on simplifying, I can cancel pi, all equivalent value. What is t? 15 into two by three, that will give me 10 minutes. 15 into 4 by 3, that gives me 20 minutes. So what you can say is when the height h is 90, you can have time 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 
since uh, cosine is a periodic function, you can find more values because it, it repeats after every interval of time. But this is more than enough to complete the question. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell button to get notified with new videos. Thank you.